Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Oh. oh, hey, hi. You know, the secret to great seafood dishes is to get it fresh, even if you have to go out and get it yourself. The shrimp you asked for? Uh. Hi, I'm Helen. Welcome to my chaotic kitchen. It's always chaos here. But today we have a lot going on. We have a tofu and shrimp dish. I have this great rice dish to go with it. I have drinks. Oh, great drinks. Hello. And if we have time, then I have some exotic fruits and vegetables to share with you too. But the first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to do a tofu dish. And people are so funny about tofu. If you've, if you've never worked with it, people always say to me, it has no taste. That's not true. And they'll say, oh, I don't like the texture. And uh, people don't know how to cook it. And it's a very simple thing to cook. So I'm going to show you a recipe today. Now, I love tofu. My family's not that big on tofu, which is why I do this dish that has tofu and shrimp. They could pick out the tofu and I could pick out the shrimp. <laughs> and that's, that's the way we do it. But um, I've, I really got onto tofu because somebody told me that it was a good form of natural estrogen and believe it or not, it is. Now I'm not here to give medical advice by any means, but I was having such hot flashes because I'm so menopausal. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say all this stuff on camera, but I'm telling you the truth. Anyway, I started eating tofu and all of these night hot sweats that I was getting stopped, which is how I then started to research all these recipes. So just my little medical hint, uh, and don't have your doctor calling me, all right? I'm not a doctor, it's just I'm sharing my life with you. But anyway, um, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna slice some firm tofu. If you want softer tofu, that's fine too. All right, you can have soft tofu, but I just think that a lot of times it falls apart. And you're going to throw it in a pan. It's so simple. You're going to take a pound or two of shrimp, depending on how uh, much your family is going to eat and how big your family is. And this is something that I absolutely love. Um, I love poblano peppers. And what you're going to do, you, you don't want the skin on them. Uh, you just peel the skin off after roasting it for five minutes in the oven just to loosen the skin. Now, this is up to you. This is a little spicy. If you don't like spice in your life, well, then you're not going to have a poblano pepper in your dish. That's up to you. But I like the spice. So this is what, and don't cut your finger either, okay? And wash your hands before you start this. Let's go on. Oh my gosh, hold on. I, hello? Hello? Hey, I'm in the middle of shooting a show. I'm doing tofu. Oh, tofu? A tofu. Oh, I, I'm... Baby, I, I gotta see it. Well, I, I'm actually on camera now and you're ruining my shot. Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna ruin your shot and tell you to watch oh, Okay. Shot. All right. Bye. Oh, that was my girlfriend, Kim. She said she's gonna ruin my shot if she wants to. Oh well. All right. Sorry about that again. Anyway, back to what I was saying. This is the simplest recipe. All right. And there's no measuring. Don't drive me crazy with that stuff. The measuring here, measuring there. All right. This is all about about a half a cup of orange juice. Okay. And you throw in a few tablespoons of olive oil. Tell me this isn't easy, huh? All right. All right. This is really good low sodium soy sauce. Pour it in probably a quarter of a cup. All right. We're just going to fill this thing right up. Now you have a choice. If you want to buy the already chopped garlic, that's fine. If you want to, you know, just do peeled garlic, that's fine. I think I'll throw one of those in and I'll, I think I'll probably scrape a little of that into. I love lots of garlic. All right. And then 
you're gonna peel ginger. I love ginger, look how cute this is. I mean, they're all, it's almost like a little sculpture or something. But anyway, while I was cutting this ginger before, I came across, I, I was peeling this like this as so, and look at it, it's not very nice. This is fresh ginger. So if you get a piece like this that's all like dark yellow icky, don't use it. Just don't be so cheap. Just go get yourself a, a nicer piece of ginger. All right. Because that's not that nice. But this is nice. And so throw in some ginger. I like a lot of ginger, but I would say oh, a tablespoon or two. And for those of you who've never worked with ginger, don't be intimidated by it. All you do is peel it. Look how simple it is. Ah, it's so fragrant. I love it. Oh, this dish, I'm cooking it up and I feel those hot flashes going away already. Okay, so there you go. Now, slice a few mushrooms, all right, as many as you want. If you like mushrooms, just slice lost. If you don't, you know, don't slice them. See how simple all this is? All right, I throw my poblano pepper in. I throw a few mushrooms in. Tell me this isn't easy. All right, we are talking easy, simple cooking. All right, see my job here is to tell you how to live your life. That's what my husband always says to me. He'll call me up and he'll say, Miss McCall, I'm calling for my instructions for the day of how to live my life. Anyway, take some onions, throw them in, as many onions as you want. I like onions, I think I'll do it all. <laughs> Whoops, there you go. Okay, and we're set. Now, look at this. You're gonna, I'm put, I love this little bowl of blender. I don't wanna sound like an infomercial or anything, all right? And um, all you do is pop this in, press it down, mix it up. All right, that's it, that's it. Okay, this is so good, you're gonna love this. All right, and you pour it in, that's it. Now here is my other little trick. Now tell me this isn't easy, all right? I love lemon pepper, so I'm gonna shake some lemon pepper on there, all right? That lemony taste on shrimp and tofu. The tofu just sucks up all the flavors. It, uh, the tofu does absorb uh, flavor. Um, and I always like the salt. So I throw, oops. Hold on, I told you it was chaos. All right, oh, by the way, you see this? Setting a good example for children takes all the fun out of middle age, right? Which is why, as soon as I wrap this up and while it's cooking, we're just gonna go make ourselves a drink. All right, so there we go. Throw in a little chicken bouillon uh, for a little added flavor. Now, you can put this on the stove or you could put it in a cake pan and put it in the oven. You can also do this with chicken. Either way, it comes out about the same way. So let's put this on, and then I'm gonna show you a great, great rice dish to go with it and a great drink that goes with it.